Welcome to Countdown to Infinity, a Marvel's Avengers podcast. We talk all things MCU. It's funny, I just recorded uh, an episode of our Star Wars podcast earlier today. and uh, Oh, don't confuse the two. I know, I almost said uh, we talk everything a galaxy far, <laughs> far away, but we don't talk that on this. This is Countdown to Infinity. Mm-hmm. We talk all things MCU and talk about the Avengers. We talk about all of the new Disney Plus series and the mm-hmm. movies like Multiverse of Madness um, that just came out recently. But here we are, Sophia. Here we are. Back at it again. Oh, my name's Emmanuel. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. You already introduced me. Sorry. Who are you? Stole your thunder. What? My name's Emmanuel. My name is Sophia. And we're at the the front end of another new Disney Plus series. Yes. In on what I haven't counted in my head. I should know this by now. What? This has got to be like number six or something, right? WandaVision, Loki. WandaVision, Falcon Winter Soldier, Loki. Oh, okay. Yes, you're right. We had What If, uh-huh. we had Hawkeye. Yeah. That's five in just last year. Yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. And this year we've already had Moon Knight, uh-huh. and we've got Miss Marvel. Yes. I don't know if we missed one. I feel like I feel like we did miss one. Mm. But Let I us don't, know, I listeners. Don't... Well, we've talked episode by episode for all those series, and we're about to start talking about Miss Marvel when it premieres on Wednesday, June 8th. It is a really exciting new show. It seems like it's targeting a new demographic. It's a, yeah. it's a lot more youthful. I was about to say it's definitely going towards the younger generation, not only like towards like the audience, but in Marvel. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that there here's we we've got an uh, an age age range. Oh my god, age an range. Age, wait, I can't say it. Age range. Age range. Yeah, I keep trying to say age range. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The age range, this is age, oh, I'm not going to say that anymore. Age range. We're talking about, you know, high school, almost Spider-Man, Peter Parker-esque, mm, yeah. you know, uh-huh. young uh, main character, <laughs> Kamala Khan. We sound so old, like the youngins, the, these you young know, kids. these kiddos. She's in high school in Jersey <laughs> City, which is honestly kind of close to New York. Oh, so Side note. The billboards were so cool. Yeah, the on, billboards up, that they're showing. Yeah. Look it up on social media. Look it's it up. so cool. The highlights. Yeah, the 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 billboard and marketing for this has been really good. Played yeah. by Iman Vellani. Yes. Who is, I believe, kind of a discovery. She's, she's super cute. Super. Uh, she's new. <laughs> You're going to say super cute. <laughs> super cute. So cute. <laughs> um, but also, like, there's, well, and there, well, we'll dive into all of this. But we're talking about Miss Marvel. Mm-hmm. This is our your preview show. So yes. we're not trying to spoil anything here. No, we we don't know. We know as much as you guys know, unless you guys know more than we do, which yeah. is like crazy. But yeah, we're just coming coming up with the trailers and our opinions yep. and what our expectations are. Yeah. So we, we're we've watched the trailers. You yeah. know, we're going to talk a little bit about the comic books. We mm-hmm. actually, when we went to Philadelphia to the Marvel exhibit that they have In- over there. West Philadelphia. Oh, um, okay. Born, born in... in- oh right. Can't um, can't no, sing that anymore. I'm just Sorry, kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> but when we went to the Marvel exhibit there, they actually yes. had a life size Miss Marvel. Yes, which they was did. Really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but before, before any of this was even in, be- like mentioned. For so we'll so talk a little bit about. We that. had the scoop. Guys. We got the scoop. Technically, yeah. we were there. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll we'll talk about as much as we can, and then of course we'll discover it as we watch the episodes. This mm-hmm. is another six episode season. They're just, just sticking with six. Sticking with six. You yeah. know, I'm I. I heard that it's just easier for them to schedule people for six eps than it is for, I mean, like normal drama shows are 10, 13. 12. They're long mm-hmm. commitments of and time. And like long episodes, like minute wise. It's, it's like 40 minute. We just watched something. I don't want to mention it, but we just watched Stranger something Things? on. Obi-Wan? Oh, I guess so. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And well, not Obi-Wan. Well, I guess, yeah, Obi-Wan was kind of long. But um, yeah, Stranger Things on Netflix. I was talking about the Hulu one. But okay. I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. want to mention that. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, no, we were watching Stranger Things. And we were like, man, these episodes feel kind of long. But they work compared yeah. to like what we get on Disney+. Plus. Yeah. And I feel like that's why it feels goes by so quickly because they're kind of sticking to these like 30 mid 30 Mm -hmm. maybe a little sprinkle of more if it's a finale or something but um six eps at 30 minutes each like there has to be a lot that happens like moonlight i felt like it was just going on and on and on and on like it was crazy crazy quick and i feel like miss marvel's probably gonna be the same yeah and it seems like there's a different flow to it so the um in terms of like what we've seen like her kind of envisioning her scrapbook in real life and oh, stuff yes, like yes, it's going to have yes. a pretty unique thing well here's uh-huh. who Kamala Khan is if you've never heard of her she is this is from wikipedia a fangirl <laughs> of the avengers yes. particularly carol danvers/captain slash marvel uh-huh. who struggles to fit in until she gains her own 
powers. Yeah, and like a banglet or something, right? From yeah, the in the series, it's a bangle. Um, and I think one of the things that you know, when we saw the exhibit, um, yes, uh, the the it was, it's the comic book version mm-hmm. of Miss Marvel, which is very different. In the comic books, she is kind of like a she's very powerful. Yes. But she is a, she's a, I think call them like polymorphs. So the the thing you'll probably see if you it, Google image search Miss Marvel is her with a giant um, hand. Yeah. And uh, she can change her body basically, which uh-huh, like uh-huh. Mr. Fantastic style. So I don't believe that's what's going to happen in the show. It seems like it's kind of more mystical and yeah. kind of like. Just a visual representation of a giant hand. Yes. Instead yeah. of her body, like, just growing and Actually morphing. morphing into something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we're going to talk a little bit about the comic book stuff, but they don't necessarily always follow it in the MCU. So, you know. I was about to say. Grain of salt. We've ta- yeah, we've talked about this before, specifically on our... Um, Ooh, Multiverse of Madness pod, because, like, uh, there was some clapback on, online about people saying, like, what, this is all we get? Me, 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 me. And I'm like, okay, I totally feel you. But also remember, Disney is going to do whatever Disney wants. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it makes the most sense to them, they don't necessarily need to stick to everything that's written in a book. And they can just do whatever they want, because they're the only ones doing it right now. Yeah. Marvel. And it's, so and it's, it's like, they got whatever they got. And they're really, I think, beholden to the interconnection of all of their stuff yes i know we're kind of out there right now we've got all <laughs> kinds of stuff happening in all different you, universes <laughs> this is like i mean the the phase one phase two fa- all of that was There's kind so of much. set in the same you know earth and the right. same dimension and here we've got all kinds of stuff happening but it's still an interconnected story so mm-hmm. they are really leaning into Things I think that um, make sense across all of their movies. So yeah. that may be why so, there are so many changes to the, you know, compared to the comic book series. Well, um, the new show is created by Bisha K. Ali, mm-hmm. who is a uh, British Pakistani screenwriter. Um, she's the head writer of the show, but she was a comedian for a time. So I'm expecting this to be a little bit lighter. Oh, fun. Which is uh, exciting. She's written for Marvel before. She wrote an episode of uh, the, th- the third episode of Loki. Oh, cool. Which okay. was which was really, really good. Loki was really good. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be really exciting. Well, are you... I mean, it seems from the trailers that it's a little more fun than some of the other series we've had. Mm-hmm. A little bit lighter. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's obviously a 16-year-old girl who's dealing with life at that time. I can imagine that she's dealing with some, like, identity stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, like, just, Boys, like, trying to, of course. Twins! Maybe. I mean, you never know. And um, I feel like that's going to be really cute to see. Also, like, you can see that there's a lot of her family that's involved in this, like, yeah. from the trailer, which I think I'm really excited for because um, usually... We when families involved it's gonna be like uh what is it called like motivational for them and that's especially i feel like since she's so young okay i don't know if this is just me but when i was 16 i wasn't necessarily like as close with my family i was more of like a, a re- rebellious yeah. 16 year old that, you know that happens at the time high you schooler don't want to see them ever no i was like mom shut up but i feel like this is gonna be the opposite she's gonna have like a really positive interaction yeah. with her family even though she has like this huge responsibility of like you know superpowers and whatnot but um it looks like they're going to be kind of supportive. I do also like that there was some humor sprinkled into the trailer with um, a mention of Mulan. There was like somebody who was like counseling her, giving her some sort of advice there at the end. And he was like trying to help her discover like, okay, well, what do you see in yourself? Yeah. Like she was quoting some reflections. And, honestly, and I was like, that's cute. That's one of the things I think that makes her character really unique compared to what we've seen before. Mm-hmm. And I'll be honest, that's kind of all I care about with anything that Marvel puts out now is how it's different from everything else that we've seen. Yeah. Which is still happening. Of course, Moon Knight was very different. Oh, my, <laughs> Multiverse of Madness, my gosh. Yeah. But I think Miss Marvel gives us that ability to... Um, again, I equated it to Peter Parker for a little bit, but this is even a little bit more than that because uh, she has, you know, a family structure. Yeah. It's even bigger than Peter Parker's mm-hmm. uh, Aunt May well, yeah, and I like mean. Happy Hogan. But, <laughs> you know, it's going to be interesting to see how she, you know, goes to school. 
mm-hmm. how she deals with her best friends who are in the show, mm-hmm. how she deals with crushes. Um, there's even a character, uh, Red Dagger, who is like a vigilante on the streets, who that's she fun. might team up with. We don't know yet. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, I think that's what's going to be really exciting about this. I want to talk about, too, one of the things that is really, really unique about her character mm. is she's living in the world of the Avengers and yes. all the repercussions after Thanos and the snap yes. and all that stuff. So mm-hmm. obviously she's a huge fan. Mm-hmm. Same. Her character, just like us. Yeah. Her character is not only just a huge fan. She writes fan fiction about the Avengers. She goes to Avengers Con, which is like a Comic-Con, Comic-Con, but, just Con, for them. but for imagine if they're real life. So she is kind of this obsessive nerd fan of the Avengers. <coughs> and, and the actress herself <laughs> says, like, you know, this isn't really hard for me to play this kind of character because right. I'm a huge fan of the Avengers. Bro, sign Robert me up. Downey Jr., yeah, <laughs> IRL and stuff. But I think it'll be really cool to see someone who we've had little moments of this, like meta jokes about the Avengers, but mm-hmm. this is like a little girl, not a little girl, but a girl who is influenced by real life superheroes who gets yeah. superpowers. So she's kind of like in the know. Just imagine of one of us getting superpowers. Imagine you. And that's exactly what we're going to see on screen. Yeah. <laughs> and she's got this affection to Captain Marvel, of course, who right. is like one of the most inspiration. She's Captain Marvel, one of the, you know, honestly, few humans. She's a human yeah. who got like who got the same invincible, deal. basically. Mm-hmm. But um, I think that's I think that's going to be really fun, especially when we see Avengers Con and we can kind of see some of those meta jokes, I'm sure. Oh, for some sure. Some Iron Man love. I'm uh-huh. People who probably are freaks for certain, you know, heroes and some people who are like mega fans for, I don't know, who, like some really obscure <laughs> superheroes or avengers yeah. or whatever uh-huh. like imagine some some huge hawkeye fans there and stuff mm-hmm. like that it'll be cool because she i i mean obviously would this happened with with peter parker too in his in, in his mcu movies but you know he wanted to be an avengers right away right and yeah. he had to learn that and tony was like no 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 yeah mm-hmm, yeah that mm-hmm. there's a lot that that has to happen and then he and then he eventually becomes like a reluctant hero towards yeah. the end where he doesn't even want to be the spider-man because it kind of ruins his life in an interesting way and he makes everyone spoiler alert everyone forget him right so i'm thinking we're gonna get a little bit of that with her see i was thinking that too and i would like to see how um we get a perspective from a female character now who is also managing all these other emotions and whatever else Mm -hmm. um at the age of 16 like a young a young girl yeah. Um, just trying to figure her stuff out too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm excited to see how they portray a female side of this whole like, because honestly, it's like a transitional period, right? Like you're just trying yeah. to figure out your identity and like trying to understand everything around you, but then you get hit with like, oh, BT Dubs, you're gonna have these superpowers now. So, and of course, that's gonna come with fame. That's gonna come with like res- way more responsibilities, like all that jazz. So it's gonna be really cute. I'm excited. And it's in, and she is. She doesn't have the help of Tony Stark, no, you know, so, no, no, no. or the other, I mean, at that point with Peter Parker, he like knows the other adventures it and does, stuff. It does show like an agency trying to figure out like, oh, I need to, s- yeah. like, oh, th- we, we've never seen. Well, let's talk about that because yeah. that agency is the Department of Damage Control, who we do see in mm-hmm. Spider-Man mm-hmm. Uh, No Way Home. So mm-hmm. super established, great, I, I think it's the actor from like Succession and stuff, super Interesting, and in the comic books, Miss Marvel has multiple government agencies as her basically huh? villain. Because I yeah. think you know we're at the part of the convo where a lot of people are like, "Okay, I like her, but who's who bad guy?" Yeah, what what <laughs> is bad, bad guy? guy? She we, good guy, but who bad guy? <laughs> I'd say you can probably dive into the internet and and, and see the rumors, but yes. we really don't know at this mm-hmm. point if it's a singular person. But a lot of times for Miss Marvel, she's dealing with organizations. Um, there's some really bad ones yes, that queen. hunt down superheroes in like the new age. Uh-huh. There's rumors that um, uh, clandestine and nice are some of the, the villains. We're not sure. We do know that the, the Department of Damage Control is in it because we yeah. see them mm-hmm. in the thing. And I don't know if there's like a singular. She has some really cool person. villains. Yeah. But I don't know if we've yet seen what who that singular person is, at least in the trailers. Right. Or if I haven't just, like looked at IMDb. You have to, like, yeah, I was about to say you have to like freeze frame at something, you know what I mean? And it's try to see in the background if there's like a glow of a specific color yeah. from a comic book. <laughs> so we're not that, that we, not that we do that. But. I mean it, and, and we've kinda 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 have to uncover why she decides to keep the powers, especially since they come at least from what we we know what we've seen mm-hmm. from a mm-hmm. bracelet, like a bangle. So 
you know, what decision matrix happens in her mind that makes her think like, you know, I'm going to keep this and I'm going to deal with all the bad stuff. So, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. What, what are you expecting from a, from like a villain perspective? I would love for her to take on government agencies because then it's really targeting some of the younger Marvel's fans just because um, I know that there's like a lot of um people that kind of recognize that within characters now like i see it from the younger crowd my um my i don't want to say like my followers or whatever but i do have some um social media friends or acquaintances that are kind of younger like 18 19 16 17 around there and um yeah they definitely are uh, i see a lot of retweets i see a lot of posts I see a lot of you know all that sprinkled in so i think they would definitely appreciate it um and then just introducing that again based on what marvel has planned for the future like if there's going to be a whole other like I don't want to say like galactic war, but like galactic fighting and somehow um, government agencies are obviously going to be implemented. Involved, yeah, yeah. And involved. I mean, when, half, that planning, when so. half the population is wiped out, bro, wiped out <laughs> from the blip. Yeah. Like, they, yeah, people get involved. <laughs> yeah. If we can't control everything, you know, no. So I definitely think that um, with this younger generation of Marvel characters that we're seeing, whether it's like Wanda's kids or, you know, wh- whoever, um, whenever they all team up for Young Avengers, which I'm, I mean, we've been saying that this is going to happen, so I really hope it is going to happen later on. But um, yeah, I have a feeling that some government agencies are also going to come after them. So if we're planting seeds now, this will be a great start. Yeah, and I think it's a good mix of, I know, like, I, I'm not a huge fan of, of having too much of this, but the fact that mm-hmm. there's, like, the Illuminati... Oh, who yes. is trying to figure out, you know, the multiverse stuff. And right. they got their hands full with America Chavez. Mm-hmm. But on Earth, we've got our own crap that we're like, okay, <laughs> how are we? You know, like the, yeah. it's the scope of it. And mm-hmm. sometimes, sometimes it, it doesn't need the Illuminati. Yeah. But sometimes there's an organization like, and, and well, I think we're going to talk about NICE for a while. Because NICE is, NICE is kind of a new organization that kind of takes the place of shore, SWORD. And shield mm-hmm. and shield, yeah. Um, I don't know how many organizations there are on planet Earth, but that's but the point, right? Yeah. Like they're going to keep introducing these, and our characters or the characters that they're showing us are going to keep dealing yeah. with them. That's what I'm saying. And then I'm also looking forward to. Uh, I mean, she's going to come into her her own, and this is maybe it's not a huge spoiler for anyone, but she is Kamala Khan is going to be in the Marvels, the new, mo- the next Captain Marvel movie. Mm-hmm. So you can only assume it's directed by Nia DaCosta. Who's amazing. She's made the Candyman remake, but mm-hmm. you can assume that by the end of this, uh, yeah. Miss Marvel will be come into her in, own. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then be recruited. I mean, can you, I mean, I'm, I don't want to get too crazy because I know we are kind of too obsessed with cameos and connections and stuff. Yes. But I mean, can you imagine Brie Larson showing up at the end of this? 100%. Especially after yes. you know that Miss Marvel is like idolizes her or whatever. A hundred percent. Yeah, you can absolutely see that happening. And then also like because it's going to be so connected. Yeah, of course. Like. Disney, I could definitely see Disney it's gonna happen. doing that. Yeah, we don't need it well, right away, but yeah, it's if gonna we happen. if we only have six ups, yeah, yeah, it's probably gonna happen. I'm interested, mm-hmm. Brino. I think like a couple days after uh, Iman got casted, uh, Brie Larson met her virtually or something like that. Gave yeah. her some advice, yeah, to let her know like, hey, you're on a roller coaster train, yeah, here. And then you know, oddly enough, she also told her some advice about um, like uh, the the amount of I guess like work physically. Yeah. And warnings about like taking care of yourself Working out because and stuff. I mean if you uh you know if you've seen any of these movies you know all these actors mm-hmm. are in some kind of insane yeah Shape. regimen mm-hmm. where they're eating certain things and getting buff and swollen and I can only imagine being young and, and having to Tom do Holland it at such like a young age, yeah. being like okay this well, is Tom my was, lifetime. Tom was also used to it though because he was she, in he was ballet actor, he was yeah, in all yeah. kinds of stuff like the the Broadway the Broadway and yeah so it's mm-hmm, I'm yeah. sure I'm sure she had to do something. It's, I'm really excited about this show partially because I, there's no hiding Disney you know trying to make the MCU a multi generational thing forever. Yeah. And part of that means you got to have like a constant flow of new characters and new yeah. actors and mm-hmm. young actors. And also sprinkle in yeah. cameos with the 
not the old people because y'all yeah, we're not old y'all yeah you're not that even old, <laughs> that old yeah but like yeah it's 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 part of the strength of this to become something that lasts a long long time to have miss marvel to yeah and to have like new characters and old ones interacting but and introducing us, some people that can be around for 30 40 years yeah and for us to get excited about these new changes you know and it, and it's not even changes it's just like adaptations or just a, you know just a sprinkle of uh, something that's just you know helping yeah. helping other galaxies other planets other worlds and sometimes our own yeah and you know what we didn't even bring this up but but you know, Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel was really important and, and fairly new. I think it came out like in the, I would say after 2010, maybe like 2012 or something, the comic book series. But she was the first, you know, a, a Muslim superhero for Marvel. And, um, oh, yes, 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 yes. The first, I think, Pakistani mm -hmm. uh, 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 superhero for Marvel. So there's a lot that is groundbreaking about this show in general. Yes. And I think that's really exciting to see. As well, but I think you know if you're if you want to have fun, I would watch Miss Marvel. I think if <laughs> if you want to have well, I fun, just, I, I say that as like a direct. <laughs> I know some people who have said that this just looks like it's for like little kids, or oh, I because see. of I the understand. way that it, tonally it is. Yeah, but honestly, I'm like, okay, well, Guys, like it's most, universal. and part of this is like most of these shows are for little kids. Like you know, yeah. I know there's some dark stuff, but mm -hmm. Disney's trying to get all. Yeah ages into these movies yes. so i mean we don't we haven't really seen any bloody ones yet you know it's not like they're they're making rated r stuff and that's the only thing that they want right, i like, feel like moon knight came like the closest moon knight got to that. pretty darn close <laughs> yeah but you know miss marvel is going to be fun for you regardless of your age and i think it's going to be a really good story yeah but yeah i'm really excited for it any final thoughts on on Miss Marvel on this preview app. I know it's a little shorter, everyone, but I mean, we've, we're about to watch the first episode in two days. Yeah. Um, no, I'm just really excited opening, oh, opening it. Uh huh. Right. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm in there. I'm in the opening, guys. Uh, no. Um, I'm just welcoming it with open arms, is what I meant to say. And um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm for six apps. This is going to be like yeah. a walk in the park. It's oh, yeah. going to be exciting. It's going to have a lot of act new action. I'm hoping that it's going to have um, a new type of film like style yeah. coming from Miss um, Marvel just because I'm seeing a lot of the cool colors, a lot of the cool editing that's around and so yeah. uh, that I'm excited for too cuz you know Disney, they're not going to they're not going to low budget something like that. So Yeah. yeah. It's and, and important to note too that Thor Love and Thunder comes out before this series ends yeah so this is you know we're gonna i don't know how we're gonna do this but you know suddenly we're gonna have a we will make a it Thor thing happen in the middle of this mm -hmm. but yeah I'm, I'm really excited for the show i think that it's going to be different tonally it's nice to have younger uh you know a different generation of actors leading something like this i mean remember the last series was moon knight with oscar isaac and now we've got something totally different and it just shows the strength of and maybe like I guess like the strength, honestly, of the source material because this is a comic book that has been in circulation. Yeah, you know, so I think it's a it's really fun. I, I can't wait for the show mm -hmm. and to find out more and to spend more time with this character. Same but uh, we will be going episode by episode. We don't have the names yet of these episodes, but we will definitely be you know watching them. Yeah, um, uh, and they'll be coming out on Monday. For everyone to listen to, so you Marvel have time. Mondays. Yes, yeah, so you'll have time to watch these. Miss Marvel Mondays. Miss Marvel Mondays. Uh, but Sophia, Fun. we come to the end of this episode. What do you have to plug? Uh, just you know, all the same old, same old stuff. Thank you so much for listening and supporting us through and through. I know things have been kind of rocky, but hey, we're here. You know, thanks to you. Yeah. Um. Truly, thank you. On like really, really. And um, if you want to continue to support the pod, you sure can. Check us out on Patreon. Everything's going to be there. Um, patreon.com slash delphin pod d-e-l-f-i-n-p-o-d um, everything including our other shows too please check them out and um, if you want to follow me on any socials you sure can everything's going to be at underscore simply sophie s-o-f-i-e-e -E. for sure listen to all of the shows on the delphin pod network we've got dirt sheet radio the countdown strikes back those two are coming um you know out weekly all, right. all new we're, we're watching obi-wan on, on uh the star wars pod oh, so um and i just want to give a shout out to all of our people on patreon our patrons 
You know, we announced, I think, last week that we were donating the rest of our earnings for the entire year to the victims and families of the uh, Uvalde school shooting that happened nearby. And yes. our Patreon went up. So people heard that and decided, oh my gosh, I'm going to donate every month. Yes. So <laughs> thank you so much for doing that. And you get all those free shows and let's listen to all of the fun stuff that happens yes. on Patreon, too. Thank you so much. But thanks so much. We, I guess you'll be hearing us next week for the first episode of Miss Marvel. I guess you will. Bye. Bye y'all.